against the door to the room and just see if I hear anybody on the outside. Do you have sure. ears? That's racist. How would I hear if I didn't have ears? I don't know. I'm looking at my lizard. The side right of now. my oh. head. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there's Damn, there's many okay. parts to the ear. Just because Ooh. he doesn't have the oracle. It doesn't mean he doesn't have ears. Oh, okay. that's money. Uh -huh. you very good. Very good. That's only your fifth nat 20. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. A lot of average previous. lately. <laughs> and bad previously. You press your the side of your head against the door, trying to listen out for any eavesdroppers. And while you hear the hustle general hustle and bustle of city hall you know administrators bureaucrats uh partisans and partitioners you know people that have business here that aren't that don't work here stuff like that um interns just kidding no interns here <laughs> i don't get paid anything but hey i could go to the edge of the world on a one-way trip <laughs> putting the intern in an in internment <laughs> yeah in indentured dude um Tango is trying to bite on my toes. What, buddy? What are you doing? No, no, you have to pay the OnlyFans for that. Hey, what are you doing, Tango? It's been weird. So yeah, uh, you do not hear anyone on the other side. Okay, okay. Or uh, like, directly on the other side. You hear plenty of yeah. stuff on the other side, but no one next to it. Uh, could I fit a, let's see, I think it's a 20-foot radius. Let me just double-check that. Spirit Guardian City Hall. I'm the terrorist. 20-foot radius. Yeah, sphere. Could I center that sphere on the door and not hit us? 20-foot sphere on... To, to, what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm thinking silence? about silence. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just jam us in the back of the room. Block the front of the room. You'd be able to center it on the door, yes, but it would affect... Well, I guess it's a question. Does a door total cover? Like, if I open a door, does it stop being total... Huh. I'll say yes. <laughs> For the time being. Yeah, you can center it on the door, not affect the other side. We'll just say that a closed door counts as total cover, I guess. I don't know. What Would we be uh, unable to You'd have to still space to talk. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I would start ritual casting silence in this case. Just to to make sure nobody... Nobody's gets, listening. No gotcha. Yeah. So I, I'll take ten minutes to set that up. And they can continue talking while I'm busy. Okay. Yeah, I think it's an hour for at least the ten, initial ten minutes. You guys informing Abigail and Varric about your, your situation. General goings-ons. Well, I don't see a problem with it. From what I remember, Latoria is pretty civil. Abner shrugs. It's not like we're going out to the mission site the orthodox way. So. And honestly, we'll probably be passing through my family home, so. I don't think we need any sponsorship and if we do we'll probably get able to get some help from my mother and father oh, are you sure i'm fairly confident and don't worry connor is coming along with us at least to my family home he won't be traveling with us but our initial stint there he'll be there Oh, that's actually really good. I, I oh, figured you would want the assagement. No, uh, yes, but different reason. Uh, doesn't matter. We can talk about it later. So I suppose it's up to you guys then. I'm okay with it. As long as, from sides with the sponsorship, doesn't have any actual clauses for it. Seems strictly better. Yeah. Besides potentially locking us down when we get back. True. 
It does provide us with the opportunity in the future as well. Possibly. Yeah. As Abigail was like, well, this isn't the petitioning itself. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, this is just sure, me, sure. me confirm that you guys even want it. Well, what can she offer? I don't know what y'all need. She's got money. Most well, classic thing. One. She's a bit of a spell slinger herself, so maybe she can help with some more arcane things. Maybe extra. Mm. Just supplies on top of what we got, maybe. Perhaps. Instead of what we can get requisitioned. She could put in requests yeah. and such like that and the mer merchant company. If that's what you are keen on. And of course, you still know. have ties to the old world. House all you seven is all here. A delicate position where we have some very specific enemies and goals. What sort of enemies y'all make? <laughs> Y'all been here for what? A month and a half? Two? Oh, and it's so impressive how much we've accomplished. Yeah? Other than running around like a pedal horseman, but yeah. I don't know exactly what we can say about the most recent revelations. Looks at Rosalvia. Mm -hmm. Pretends to not be seen. I can say I've personally declared war on an Oni bottle. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Uh, 20 plus. Oni Baba? Like the Oni Baba? Yeah, not the one. Oh. Correct. And presumably the rest of the Y'all don't do things by half measures, that's for certain. <laughs> hey, maybe oh. that silver butt hunter of yours might come in handy, though. Maybe. He's... He has... Right, his right, after scoring can. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say, a bit weird, but hey, silver buds expand out their hunt quarries. There's reasons. Time goes on, yeah. as far as I remember, knowing them in Silfwall. I almost joined. Tch. Well, that'd be a different story. What stopped you? My mother. <sighs> so, about that petition. Sound good? Or nah? I'm for it. I think. When we get back, we can definitely have an idea of what we will need specifically. True. We are really thinking good to have friends. So then we couldn't be much use for you anyways. So why don't we both postulate well, I just our want needs. to make sure y'all come back to actually help me in whatever ways you can. <laughs> hmm. If you need money for potions or something like that, I'm sure I'll say we can spot you. Especially with Mr. Childhood Friend over there. Abigail will side eyes. <laughs> side eyes, <laughs> Barry. Does your lady Alcena know a certain renologist in town? What was his name, Moose? Garth, can't remember. I was looking it up earlier. Shit. It was. Oh, uh, Lord Calcis. Thank you. <laughs> I think every noble in this town knows about him. Bit of an infamous sort, that one. Not for the reason you might be thinking, either. Hmm. Does he have, like, bad history? Oh, wait, no, it's not Callisus. No, it's Jundus. <laughs> Callisus is his friend. A different lord. Get the two mixed up all the time. <laughs> lord Jundus. So, as so named by Scott Jund. <laughs> Yeah, I remember Scott. that one. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Scott. <laughs> I'm Jundis. Real creative name, Scott. Scott Jund. Yeah, so Lord Russell Jundis. That's his name. 
Tango, stop attacking my feet. You little bitch. Lord Jundis, yeah. He's got some notoriety with him. Guild connections, so I heard. And deep ones at that. Hmm. So far as I know, man, which is rather light, seems amiable. Not the weird quack that many remnologists always seem to become. Yeah, they definitely have some weird theories, but might be necessary. Really? Yeah, they seem to think, you know, whatever this remnology thing is, is older than giants and dragons. Which is silly, of course. But See, wild, wild concept, obviously. Yeah. I ain't much of a historian, so I don't really have much of a claim for any of that. Hmm. I'm more focused on the present. Fair. Why bring him up? Think it might be relevant? Or... You might need to be in contact with him. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be easy as pie. Send a runner. Right. Well, runner proper clearance, but you know what I mean. Yeah. To the rest? Yeah. Do we want to commit to this when we get back? When we get back, we see no reason not to get a check, lift, check off the list. Alright, let's take it out of game. We're out of game, we don't need to. It's Garth's idea. Fred's in, and I'm in. She is getting pulled in by proxy. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> well, the question is, do you want it now or when you get back? Um, because if you get it now, you guys could get potions and stuff. If you get it when you get back, yeah. ain't no potions gonna help you when you're dead. So <laughs> no, I think we can, we're we're good on pots for the most part. Yeah. And if anything, we do have money, so we could go purchase more from somewhere. Uh, we do not uh, unless you. Well, actually, we got the plat from the last. Uh, Bingo. From the uh, Jesse the capturing Bethany. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Capture, not kill. Nope. Good job, gang. Up to you guys. It is self. Determination of risk and reward. I also think that it makes a lot of sense for us to um, do the thing, help her, get to know each other, have more of a bargaining position, and also get to know them a little bit before we commit to a relationship. Yeah. So I like the idea of when we get back. I have no doubt Lord Jundas will play an important part in what's to come. Really? Wild concept. That's crazy. The <laughs> Remnologist <laughs> guy involved with like Remnology shit that we just unlocked. unlocked that sort of discovered. That I sort of said, yeah, maybe I'll take you to the place where you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild that is. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh no, it's the Star Wars campaign again. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going back. No. Yeah, we guys can play the Yoda species. That's right. They still haven't named the species. That's why you had to call Baby Yoda Baby Yoda because they didn't give a name to the species yet. Excuse me, he's called the child. No, shut up. He's the baby Baby Yoda. Yeah, what's the species name, motherfucker? The child species, huh? <laughs> yeah, put them Fuck out of here. Did he find out his name for like two seasons? <laughs> yeah. What was it? Grogu. Grogu, yeah. No, it's Baby Yoda. Right. Yeah, yeah, baby Yoda. Right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. All the off-brand merchandise that China's been uh, falsely uh, plagiarizing and making says it's Baby Yoda, so therefore it's right. Yeah, no, no Grogu, only Baby Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, I'd rather um, call him He Who Drinks Bone Broth. Understandable. <laughs> that way, bone broth he drinks. Yeah, yeah. He drinks a lot. Of, he drinks a lot of bone broth. Like that cup is as big as like his upper torso. Like keep yeah. that in mind. Like that cup he drank hey. from was huge compared to him. He's a grown bit, and he drank it all. Wait, hold on. He's like, what does he look bone? like under? What does he look like under the tiny robe? Like, how much mass mm. is there under that robe? Mm. Anyways, I don't want to know the answer. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, sounds like not right now. Yeah, at least give when us we time. get back. Yeah, to see if Nadia gets assassinated or something. Because <laughs> she's only giving money, right? Well, or she's only giving potions, right? 
that's that's the thing that comes to her mind because she I mean, keep in mind nadia isn't an expeditionary so like she doesn't necessarily know what you guys would want money is the most obvious thing because it makes the world go around right laughs and exalted little octavian uh like but yeah like that is a question like you guys can't ask for more that's just what comes to her mind but she doesn't know As, yeah also, but i'm thinking like, uh, is there a way i can get a plus two armor out of this <laughs> I, I think when we come back is also a good opportunity to actually talk to the lady to like discover more what? about her and figure it what out. What do we lose for taking the money now? If she dies, well, we already got the money. What does it matter? Hmm. Well, it sounds like she's not going to die after talking to you guys. Right. Most is the, right. the biggest cost is obligation upon her return. And if you know we die with resources left on the table, then that's really on us. It's up to you guys again. It's self determination yeah. of risk versus reward. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with either either option here, so I, I will fall to the majority. So you already think it's in between. Yes. I say I, I just don't see a downside for taking it now. First thing? Worst case scenario, we're in a bad situation. Like, let's grab a loan. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm kind of happy either way as well, to be quite honest. Jesse, come on, give us a load. I'm good for it. You know I am. <laughs> <laughs> We caught a crazy killer, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, so... Yeah, I guess we could take it now. On me, at first. It's up to you guys. Oh, let's go with take it now, then. Because there's like two that are mildly abstaining, and then... Ruan saying, uh, oh, we should probably take it now. Well, my, my point is, there's, there's no downside to taking it. Yeah. That's what Varric was pausing as well. It doesn't sound like you guys lose anything. <laughs> Exactly. Normally, sponsorships have some sort of clause of that require completion, but it sounds like completion is simply coming back to town alive. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not sure if I want to do that, my, my lady. Sorry, I, I sort of wanted to die out in the field personally. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, remember when we, Zacharias. when we, I I, I I changed my philosophy, right? When we fought the flock, I was like, wait, we saved so much resources and we almost TPK. Why? Why did we do that? Yeah. So when we fought the Oni, and it was the situation. It's like burn it all, burn, burn it everything. Because I'd rather burn it all every single thing and be alive. Exactly. Fair, fair. Yeah. yeah that's always the catch, right? It's yeah. Are we doing anything else today? <laughs> like it's always that catch, right? <laughs> or in this case, this year. Yeah. Wizards don't <laughs> want to pop all their their fucking. Spell you know, resources and spell slots in the very first fight, but yeah, never know. So, but that guy looked at me wrong. So, fireball his ass. <laughs> I wasn't asking remember... how big is the room. I said I cast fireball. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it reminds me of like when you guys first went to the um, the Valley of Monsters in the first iteration. You guys remember that one with the Bugbear Village and the the, yeah. the, the mm -hmm. yeah, Kong yeah, Scorpion? Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. The fucking first. Group you of like I think there are gnolls you guys found. There's like three gnolls, CR one half, lighting both the fuckers. Yep, every one of them. <laughs> Not yes. If they ain't deep fried, they ain't done. I loved it. I was like, that's such a waste of resources. But holy hell, is it great? <laughs> it's not wasting resources if you prove a point. Uh, yeah. Well, well there are no survivors to to deliver <laughs> that point. Dominance so. established. Yeah. <laughs> they knew where we were at the pink and order. And then you guys met Acker. And he kept yeah. throwing up. The boy. <laughs> it's so sad. He like kept cutting it out the back of his throat to vomit. Yeah. Anyways. So. You guys. Sounds like you guys are in rough accord to agree. To talk to the all say about. Can make a band with all these accords. Sooner rather than later. Alright. I can get y'all an audience right now if y'all want. I'm game. Sure. Been a while to talk to her. Sound good. See you in the mm. See you <laughs> get through stuff. Abigail looks at Barrick. Mm. What? Mm. What? <laughs> Your jealousy is showing. Nothing. Uh, there, Kevin Eleven. No, I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. <laughs> Yeah, it's Barrick right now. You can't show any interest <laughs> at all in this person, Barrick. 
Uh, well, this will be funny to watch at the very least. All right. Y'all want to get right to it then? We can just walk back to house all seven unless y'all are concerned about your fly. Hmm. That is something to note. If we're going to be hounded. Question is, was she I can head out first. Was she following us or was she looking for you? She just shrugs. I mean, I didn't even know this person until y'all told me about him. Probably found out eventually, but mm -hmm. sooner rather than later, right? What's up to y'all? I doubt they know what I look like. Pings, like, with her, like, flicks the visor. <laughs> uh, yes, the Varric defense. <laughs> I didn't invent it. Lena has a helmet, too. You're right. The Mills' defense. <laughs> yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah, but I got to see, Varric. I think you were it better. Thanks, I guess. It's a compliment, except it. Thanks. I don't guess. Thanks. Thumbs up. <laughs> so, I can head out first. Meet y'all back at House Old Saber. You know the way. I'll be sure to tell the guards that y'all in. Sound good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll catch y'all. <laughs> what steps backwards into the silence spell? Oh, yeah. I'll see ya. What was what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Takes one step back out. Right, magic. I'll see y'all back there then. Try not to dally. Same <laughs> here. Silence spell. Try Open the door house. silently. Walks out silently until Please about store. ten feet away or eleven feet away. Then footsteps resume. Hmm. That was kind of so funny. what? Give her a five minute head start. Ten, none. We we'll go with ten, I guess. Ten's, ten's good. Yeah. All right. Ten minutes. Yep. So in those ten minutes, you mind telling me how you know a noble lady such as <laughs> Lady Latoria? Maybe we shouldn't give her a head start. No, no. <laughs> We're no, in no, no. I'll, I'll go see if they have like coffee or something that we can get. Give me just a minute. Oh, we're yeah, we're yeah, in agreement. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. but Rose, if you go get coffee, you might miss the details, which I'm sure Varric won't repeat. <laughs> Shit, you're right. <laughs> of course, really priorities. Show this, huh? Of course. <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to say. Oh, so she leaves you speechless then? Now you're just putting words in my mouth. Wait. But you make it so easy. Abigail. Is very yeah. the only person you've made it with? I don't like the use of the word mated, but yes. Why? How many do you have under your belt, Ruhan? If I'm a recorder, we had to teach you sex education at the Wayfarer's Fork. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Ruhan just leaves. He goes oh, no. into the silent smell. Hey. 